Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have something really awesome to show you guys. It's a budget 5.1 multimedia computer speakers and can also be used for your home theater. A lot of my subscribers were asking me to make a video on a budget 5.1 speakers. That's why I made this video. These 5.1 speakers are from Zebronics. The model is BT6590RCUF. The speakers come in this sort of box packing. It's a simple cardboard box. Nothing much is written on it. Let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal on the box. I want to thank Zebronics for sending me this product for review. All right, let's open it up. Oh, there's another box inside. Let me take it out. So this is the actual box packing of the speakers. Looks nice. Let me turn it around and show you. You've got the Zebronics branding, the model of these speakers, and here's a picture of the 5.1 speakers along with the subwoofer. Now these speakers have a variety of connectivity options like USB, SD card, MMC, AUX, Bluetooth and also FM. It also has an LED display and comes with a fully functional remote control. Now let me tell you its specs. These 5.1 speakers can produce a total RMS output of 65 watts, the subwoofer is 35 watts and the satellite speakers are 6 watts each. The frequency response range is from 40 Hz to 20 kHz and the net weight of the package is around 4.4 kgs. Ok guys, so let's unbox it and check out the speakers. On opening the box, we've got 5 satellite speakers at the top and there's also a remote control here. Let me show it to you. So this is how the remote looks like. It's got lots of functions and buttons and the quality of the buttons is also good. Now let's check out the satellite speakers. So this is how the satellite speakers look like. These speakers are 6 watts each. You've got the Zebronics branding here. Except the front grille, everything else is made of wood. The front grille is made of plastic. The build quality looks good for the price. I like the fact that they went with a wooden enclosure even on a budget price tag. All these satellite speakers have an RCA connector that goes to the subwoofer. Let me take all these speakers out and show you. So as you can see we've got 5 of these satellite speakers. All of them are the same. Now let me also show you the subwoofer. The subwoofer is at the bottom of the box. Let me take it out. Oh there's also a packet over here. Looks like we've got some cables and accessories. I'll show you that later. First let me take the subwoofer out. So this is how the Zebronics BT6590 subwoofer looks like. It's got a decent size, not that big, but can produce 35 watts of output. You can see the subwoofer speaker on the right side. It's got a 4 inch subwoofer on it. So this is how the Zebronics 5.1 speakers look like. The build quality and the design is ok for the price, now you can't expect much from it. Let me show you how to connect these 5.1 speakers. You've got lots of sections at the back. You see those 5 audio output ports? Here you need to connect the 5 satellite speakers. You've got front left and right, surround left and right and a center speaker. You can connect these 5 speakers to any of those 5 ports. Let me connect them and show you. Here are all the 5 RCA connectors. Each speaker has one of them. You need to connect all of them to the subwoofer's audio output. Just like this. So we are done with connecting the speakers. Now you need to give an input to the subwoofer. You can either give the audio input from your DVD player to use it as your home theater or if you want to use them with your computer then you can connect your audio out from your PC to this aux audio in ports. And that's it. It's a very simple process. Let me connect it to my PC and show you. So you get this RCA to RCA cable and a RCA to stereo converter free in the box. You need to use these to connect your subwoofer to your PC. Just like this. Now connect this 3.5mm jack to your PC. And that's it guys, you're ready to use your 5.1 speakers. It also has FM support. You need to connect this antenna to your subwoofer to get started. So that was about the setup process. Now let me show you what's on the front part of the subwoofer. The front panel is made of plastic, but the remaining enclosure is made of wood. You've got the Zebronics branding, an LED display with some status indicators, a control panel below that which has a multifunction button, input selection, mode and the volume controls. Below that you have a SD slash MMC card reader, a USB port beside that and a base reflex port at the bottom. The subwoofer is placed to the right side. Now let's power it on. So that is how it boots up. You can control the subwoofer either from the control panel or with this remote control. This remote has a lot of buttons on it. Let me show you the different connectivity modes. You can play music from SD card, pen drive, you also have FM support, aux mode and DVD. You can also toggle between 5.1 and 2.1 modes depending on how you want to use it. 
Plus, it also has Bluetooth on it, so you can even play songs from your smartphone. That is really awesome. The remote has a lot of buttons. You also have the option to control the volume levels of different speakers individually, the left, right, surround, and the center speakers. The overall main volume can be controlled with this button. You've got almost everything on it, except the option to adjust the treble. Now let me connect my phone to it with Bluetooth, play some music, and check out the audio quality. I was quite impressed by the audio quality. I totally didn't expect it to be this good considering the price. The mids felt crisp and clear, the vocals felt warm and mellow, you can clearly understand the dialogues, the treble quality was also good, though there was no adjustment for that, I felt it had the right amount of treble. And coming to the bass, the 35W subwoofer was definitely producing good and punchy bass. I really enjoyed the audio quality for the price. The audio output was also very high, I couldn't go beyond 60% volume level. This 5.1 system is more than enough for a mid-sized haul. And the distortion was also less even at high volumes. You'll definitely be satisfied with the performance. It's a value for money product. So that was my review on the Zebronix BT6590 budget 5.1 speakers. They're really good for the price. The audio quality is awesome, has wide connectivity options, and it can be used in both 2.1 and 5.1 modes. The only thing I didn't like was the speaker cables were not that long. They should have actually provided with longer cables for easy installation. These speakers are priced for about 2,950 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.